As the old saying goes, one man's trash is another man's treasure. It rings true for Zimbabwean-born artist Shenjirai Mutasa and his brother. They're passionate about turning scrap into pieces of art. Mutasa tells us that their mother's pencil drawings inspired them. Later, they were apprenticed to their uncle, a stone sculptor. Then came two years of formal training during which they learned drawing and painting before majoring in sculpture. From our culture back in Zimbabwe, there's a lot of craftsmanship. So as I grew up, uh, my brother used to teach us pencil drawing. So he used to draw a lot of uh, Marvel comic heroes like Incredible Hulk, Superman, you know, Thor. So from there, then the interest of drawing portraits. Mutasa says they make art from scrap metal like flesh plates, bicycle chains, old radiators, brake shoes, exhaust pipes, and whatever other junk they can find on their adventures in the scrapyard. The brothers, who have been operating a workshop at the Hold Bay Harbor since 2012, have traveled extensively to promote their art and acquire new skills. We've traveled within Africa itself, Zambia, Botswana, in South Africa, really carrying raw stone to all these places overseas, like in America, I was in the East Coast for 10 years. So the problem of exporting raw stones pushed us to say, why can't we use any material available in different places to express ourselves differently? Their work now adorns the walls of Ndiza Gallery. I saw what they were creating and I was just blown away by it. And not only the, the fact that they were recycling and making use of scrap metals that's everybody else's junk, but they were creating such beautiful pieces and such inspired pieces and with attitude and humor. People interact with their pieces and they relate to them and that's it's magic. If you consider the amount of work and the amount of passion and the detail that goes into them and what they're actually selling for compared to other sculptors' prices at the moment, they are really, really being snapped up. Their pieces are often inspired by life and the materials they use depends on the story they want to tell. This is an oil sample. It collects oil inside here. So when I first saw it, I started seeing the form and then from the form, I saw this forehead. So from the forehead, I started putting the eyes. I had to cut these shock absorbers. And for the nostrils, and then for the ears, I had to use brake pads, which are car brake pads. So now this is a complete uh, floating hippo. It's in water, the rest of the body. They now wish to expose their art to a wider audience. Yuli Sanjamela, CGT and Cape Town, South Africa.